11 at BTB flight starts tonight and what you need to do to get ready for it. An update for the flight has gone live as well. Halo Infinite's first event is selling out quick and the best map in Halo Infinite is getting a buff. Want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So guys, we have a bunch of Halo news I want to go over with you guys today. So I don't want to waste too much of your time, so we'll just get right into it. Before we do, just make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the algorithm so more people get to stay up to date with everything going on with the game. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on, make sure you tap subscribe on the channel here to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo. And let's get right into the content here. So it looks like you don't have to be invited to the flight anymore to be part of this, guys. On Twitter, the Halo Twitter page themselves tweeted this out saying, want to join on this weekend's October 1st through 3rd, which actually starts today. Halo Infinite multiplayer tech preview. You can download the build via the Xbox Insider Hub starting right now. Halo Insider or not, you can join in on the action. The reason why they're being so much more lenient now on this kind of stuff is because we need a lot of people to play BTB. These are 24 player lobbies. Maybe 343 saw like a bit of a diminished return on the second flag for the population side of things. And so to make sure people can get into enough games, they probably had to be a little bit more lenient and to start inviting people. You can do the same as well. You can help out your friends right now. Because I received an email saying I was invited, which is awesome. And it says right here that there apparently there's an invite a friend option where it says as a Halo Insider, you are eligible to invite a friend to join you this weekend please share the code below with them below and have them redeem it on halowaypoint.com redeem once activated they will receive a notification on halo waypoint informing them how to download their pre-release build and it provides a code right there so my assumption that's kind of more maybe for like the steam users because if you're playing on xbox you just download the insider hub and well you're able to play halo infinite right there pretty easy and for the pc players looks like we're getting a bit of a performance increase from this recent tweet from unishag saying that they've released a small update for the halo infinite multiplayer technical preview on pc that should reduce hitching improve frame pacing and increased frame rate by 15%. All Steam participants can download it today. There is no update needed for Xbox participants. And remember how I said you can actually play the flight today? Because that's very true. It says right here on this evening of September 30th, which is today, is when the flight access opens back up. So much like last Friday, we're able to jump in and play some weapon drills and training mode. You'll be able to do the same as well, but this time with BTB involved. So you're probably thinking to yourself, oh man, there's no PV just playing its bots or doing weapon drills and things like that. That's kind of boring. Not so much the case. Because one thing about training mode is that it is super useful to help you, one, get your sensitivities and your controls down when it comes to playing the game. Two, help you understand the maps a lot better as well, so especially since we're gonna be playing on one map in particular for this entire weekend on fragmentation. I mean, you might have seen on my channel, I posted up a video of me doing some various jumps and various maneuvers on the map recharge, just kind of understanding how to do various things on the map to have give me a bigger, better edge against other players while playing Halo Infinite. I'm gonna be doing the same as I assume that we're gonna have fragmentation as part of the training mode as well. So it gives you a great chance to jump, walk around this entire large map that we get to play, figure out some new routes, some interesting angles and maybe some new kind of shortcuts you can guys can utilize in your gameplay so when the pvp actually opens up you're ready to go i do think we actually might have another map sneak in later this week this is a total tin foil hat theory but i think we might have another map coming so this is from the inside infinite update right and they go down they talk about they start this whole section from here all the way down to keep going keep going this is all big team battle related information. So it's all just big team battle talking points right up until this point. So what's the very first image that you see within this whole blog post is when you're scrolling down, you see a character holding a flag on BTB, it looks like. And it says we're here, it's saying, a Spartan flees the opposing team's flag in a round of big team battle. The thing is though, this section does not look anything from the map fragmentation, at least from the gameplay that we saw during the live stream, that this looks like a completely different map. So it could could 343 be hinting at us saying like, hey, we have another map kind of in our back pocket if we need to kind of boost up the engagement of people playing for the weekend, maybe on a Sunday, like much like we had with Behemoth. I could totally see that happening. 
And of course, if any of that information does go live, I'll be sharing it on this channel, everybody. And just as a refresher to make sure we're all on the same page here, there actually has been a change to the scheduling of how this flight's gonna work this weekend, where previously they kind of segmented out the game modes, where now all the game modes are gonna be available throughout the entire weekend this time around now. Which each play session for a multiplayer PvP side of things starts on Friday, we'll have a Saturday, and then finish up on Sunday. Same time frames of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The change is, is that all three game modes are gonna be available on the map Fragmentation. So we'll have Capture Flag, Total Control, and Slayer all available for fragmentation. Previously, the way they had set it up was Capture the Flag, Capture the Flag, and Total Control, then in all three on the final day. This time they've actually edited this post now and made so then every day is gonna be the same kind of game modes being circulated. So Friday night, guys, we'll be able to play the brand new mode of Total Control. And I guarantee I'll be sharing gameplay and experiences of that mode on this channel. And talking about changes to the schedule, it looks like in the 4v4, which is also gonna be available, guys, we'll have 4v4, the same of modes and maps that we had on Sunday for 4v4. That's gonna be available all this weekend as well and during the same time frames. That looks like everyone's favorite map, Behemoth, has now got a buff. Community manager Unishag tweeted us out saying we'd be crazy not to increase Behemoth's waiting on Friday, right? Meaning you have a better chance to play Behemoth during this weekend's flight. And I think it got confirmed because community director Sketch actually replied with a nice little meme saying damn straight. So to me, this essentially confirms that we will have a better chance to be playing Behemoth during this weekend's flight as well. So I know a lot of people have really liked Behemoth. That's probably the overwhelming I mean, favorite when it comes to all the maps we had a chance to play last weekend. I think just like the visual style of the map, the way the map plays out, adding the vehicles on there as well, and just like it really just kind of lets the sandbox and gameplay of Halo Infinite let loose. Now, imagine that though with 24 players in BTB. Now, this is why this weekend is gonna be really exciting. So exciting, in fact, we will be live streaming on my Twitch channel, guys, t Thursday night. Tonight, we'll be streaming the Halo Infinite flight, as well as Friday night, for sure, we'll be doing some more streaming. I'll try to get another stream in as well, doing some BTB awesomeness. It's a great opportunity, guys. If you ever wanna play with me or just chat or just ask me some questions, hop in the channel, guys. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. And I mean, I'm gonna need 11 other people on my team to fill out the roster, so it's a pretty good chance you guys gonna hop in and play. So make sure you follow the Twitch channel, link in the description and in the pinned comment below. You know what else is really exciting? Halo Infinite events. Now I did mention this in yesterday's video, but this is a little bit of a recap saying that we had a big announcement of a HCS event for December 17th through the 19th. And I know not everybody's interested in competitive Halo, I mean, some people are not even interested in it at all. That's totally understandable. Though the cool thing about this is that it's a really great opportunity to meet up with people in person and hang out with your Halo friends that maybe you only get a chance to see like because of these Halo events. These are all great places for everyone to kind of get together and and play some games and just also just hang out and meet people that you've only known online for the first time. I mean, tickets are only 50 bucks for general admission, which we'll get into a little bit why you need to get a little more proactive on getting those tickets. But before you do, make sure you use one of these team codes because then you get 10% discount on your purchase and then that 10% gets received to the teams as well. Now, why should you be proactive? Well, this tweet from Tashi here says that spectator tickets for the HGS kickoff major are already halfway sold out after the first day. Once they sell out, there won't be any more added. Do not wait to grab your tickets if you're looking to attend. And thank you to everyone for the record setting support for the first day alone. And like I mentioned in my previous video guys, that yes, I would absolutely be going to do this event guys, because I love going to Halo events, not just for watching competitive Halo, which I do enjoy, but also just to get a chance to interact with the community, meet up with some of the developers, meet up with some of my favorite content creators and stuff like that, hang out, have a good time, which is like the only time you ever get a chance to do that is during these events. So that's why it's much more than just like competitive Halo, which is kind of like the reason why everyone's there, but it's not the only reason why. That's why I think it's super important to bring up these Halo Infinite events because it gives people in the community a chance to get together and make connections. I just wish I could go, but I currently already have a family vacation planned that exact weekend, like two months earlier. So I just can't go. I wish I could, but hey, there's gonna be other events. There'll be other times I'll be able to head out to a different kind of Halo events to hang out with you guys, hang out with other people as well within the community. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, here's a playlist right here for all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.